I've had a ton of fun doing my geology classes and wanted to do some videos to share those with other people. One of the most common questions I get is what's the difference between a rock and a mineral? Easy question, a little bit harder answer. A mineral is an inorganic homogeneous solid with a defined chemical composition, set crystal structure, and is naturally reoccurring. I'll go over that a little bit slower. A mineral is an inorganic, means it wasn't made by anything living or usually helped by anything living. It's an inorganic homogeneous. Homogenized means it's mixed really, really well, like your chocolate milk. An easy way to think about this is if you take a cup of salt and a cup of sugar and mix them together, can you actually pick apart all of the salt again? Usually no, not without a chemical separator. So a mineral is an inorganic homogenized solid, just means it's not a liquid or a gas. It doesn't mean it can't be a liquid or a gas later if we melt it down or do something to manipulate it, it just means it's not right now. So an inorganic homogenous solid with a defined chemical composition means it always has the same chemical composition. Think about that like water. Water is H2O. If you go a state over, water is H2O. Go to the moon, water is still H2O. If you change it, you change what it is. H2O2 is hydrogen peroxide and will no longer hydrate your body. So a mineral is an inorganic homogenized solid with a defined chemical composition and set crystal structure. Just like with the chemical composition, if you change the crystal structure, you're gonna change what mineral it is. A set crystal structure just means it has the same crystal structure all the time, and whatever the crystal structure is, is what the mineral ends up looking like. So if you build something with a cubic crystal structure, it's gonna end up looking cubic. So it's an inorganic homogenized solid with a defined chemical composition, set crystal structure, and is naturally reoccurring. Just means it occurred in nature. We didn't help it. A really fun way to think about that one is ice. Out in nature, ice is a mineral. Snowflake is a mineral. A glacier is a mineral. An ice cube in your freezer is not. So here's an example of a mineral. This is blue, uh, blue agate. These pieces are actually from Mexico, but this is something you can find all over the world. A rock is just two or more minerals mixed together. And you often can pick the pieces apart. Here's a piece of dolomite that has garnet crystals in it. Other terms like crystal is actually just a term and doesn't refer to any specific thing. It can refer to glass, most specifically leaded glass, the shape of a rock and the way it naturally grew, or it can just be something people are using for marketing. Another one is fossil. And fossil is just proof that something was once living, which we will do an entire video on. If you want to learn more about geology, follow me and come back here. Leave me a question and we'll do a video on that. Go to our Facebook page where we post tons of trivia or join my geology classes.